Okay, so I mentioned earlier that E provides a tool that can quickly generate controllers, views, and models for you. Uh, that tool is called GI. Uh, GI can also create CRUDs for your database, which for data entry is a great tool to use. Um, you know, you can use this at any point. It does create your controllers, your views, your models very quickly for you. However, you do lose a little bit of flexibility when creating, when using a tool to create these uh, classes for you. But uh, I'm not going to show you how exactly to use GI. Uh, the GI website has some great screencasts on how to use GI to generate your controllers, views, and models. But it's important to see how to initially set up GI because it leads us into one of the most important files in the GI framework, which is the main.php file. Um, so let's go ahead and look at how to set up GI. Okay, well, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you have your Apache server running. Uh, in this instance, we're using XAMPP, so we want to make sure that our Apache service is running, and it is. You also want to make sure that if you have any kind of IAS configuration that that is turned off. Running both of these at the same time doesn't really work. In fact, if we tried to run our application after this, we would get an error because IAS would be trying to serve the page rather than Apache. So just make sure that uh, your Apache service is running. And let's go ahead and open Eclipse. And you're going to want to go into your AE test or your test application and go into protected, configuration, and main. Now the main.php file is the main configuration file for your GE application. Essentially it's going to contain any information that needs to be loaded on instantiation of your website. It basically, it's like the web.config file for all you .NET programmers out there. It's going to contain any base pathing to your application. It's going to contain any modules that you want to load, any components, your database connection strings, error handling clauses, log routines, and any other parameters you want to add, such as your email address or something else. Um, so what we're going to want to go ahead and do here to set up GI is to uncomment these lines out. Now, because we used YIC to go ahead and create this application for us, this was already generated for us. So if we go ahead and uncomment these, that should allow us to have GI as a module in our application. And normally, you're going to want to change your password here. In this uh, aspect, we're going to go ahead and just use the password GI. And you're going to want to save it. And now we can go ahead and try to log in so you can get a brief view of exactly what GI can do for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, test GI here and make sure that it's working. Let's go ahead and go to a uh, web browser, type in localhost AE test2 or your application name, index.php, which is our entry point into the framework. And we're going to go ahead and give it a route, which is R equals GI. This is telling the controller to go ahead and load the GI module. So, there we go. Now we're into our GI code generator and our default login, which is we set the password to GI. Enter. And now you're going to go ahead and see all of the different to items that this that GI will generate for you. You'll notice you have your controller generator, your CRUD generator, form, model, and module generator. All of these will generate all the code for you with very, very little effort. So it's just a quick example. Let's go ahead and uh, click on the controller generator. As you see, GI will present you with all these different options, such as your controller ID, your base class, your action IDs, and your code template. Um, you'll also notice that when you put, put in your name and click preview and create the controller, it's also going to create corresponding views for you, which means it's going to create the directory. It's also going to create the index.php file for you and all of the necessary action IDs that are specified. So this makes it very, very, very simple for you to quickly create um, controllers and their views as well as models, modules, forms, and CRUD generations. Uh, if you have any other questions on that, you should probably check out the screencasts on Yi. Uh, they provide some really good examples on exactly how to do this. 
It is important, however, that before we move on, we'll go ahead and uh, look a little bit at uh, how this is actually generated, just so you can get an exact idea as to how everything looks. So if you want to click on the controller ID, and we'll use the example we used earlier, which is customer, and so that will create our customer controller. Our action index IDs we'll, we'll leave as index for now. I mean, that's, that's the default one. And if you click on preview, Guy will use this default file to generate code files, which is your customer controller, which is your here. And it will also create the view that is associated with the customer controller and has the index action ID. So you'll notice that it also created the custom customer folder in views and the index.php folder and then we can go ahead and click generate and it should tell you that all of your files were generated and you could try it now and there you go you can see that the route is customer which points to the controller which then loads the view of customer dot index also let's go ahead and go back to our Eclipse project and go into protected and views and let's go ahead and refresh and you're going to notice that the customer view has been created for us with all the necessary codes and if we go into controller and do the same thing right click refresh you're going to see your customer controller was created for you with the default action index which points to the customer view index file Okay, so one thing I promised earlier was that we would learn how to create uh, friendlier URLs. Uh, right now what we're using is the full name of the website, index, and the R for route, which can hold a lot more information. Uh, you can hold, uh, put all sorts of backslashes to other models or views to use and other action IDs. Um, it becomes really kind of unwieldy at times um, and just doesn't look very good, especially if a user is trying to uh, type in your address to access a very specific view with a certain action. Uh, it just doesn't really work. They're not going to want to type in R equals and then the rest of the uh, URI. So basically he has created a friendly way to manage your URLs um, and it also has a way to hide your index.php file. So we're going to go ahead and look at how to go ahead and create friendlier URLs because it's as easy as uncommenting out a few blocks of code and then you can see how uh, much easier, much more simplified it looks. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, first I want to show you that here's your r equals your route. This is going to be your controller. And then you can also put in uh, items like this and put in your, a different action ID like um, train or something else that could equal a customer and that will take you to this specific action for that controller. And that again is ugly. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at how to uh, fix that. So let's go ahead and open up Eclipse and go into our main.php file again. Yee provides a really good way of uh, automatically handling this for us. Um, there are a bunch of different ways that you can do that and Yee has a, a good reference on the web. Um, to really walk you through a bunch of different ways to do it. But for this instance, we're going to use their URL manager here, which is uncommented. Because, But since we used Yik, it's automatically there. If you didn't use Yik, uh, this would not be here, but you could put it in and easily use it. So if we go ahead and remove and uncomment out these codes here, you can see that we're going to use some regular expressions to go ahead and filter out some of the route information and really control the way that the controller and the action IDs uh, exhibit their behavior. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and try it out. So to try it out, uh, you know, we can leave this here, push enter, and it works. Or now we can put a forward slash, type in customer and get the same page. So we can, if we wanted to do a different action, we would go ahead and put forward slash train, and that would take us to a different action, which could take us to a different view, or show us any other portion of the website that we so choose. Now what we would want to do next is go ahead and remove the index.php file to make it even more simplistic. 
Alright, so now that we've gone through a lot of what uh, Yi has to offer f to a developer, we're going to go ahead and try to tie this all together by creating a database, a table, and adding a record, and then trying to display it on the screen. Um, what we're going to do is generate the model, which is essentially a view of the database using Yi. We're going to use the main PHP file to connect to our database and we're going to modify the controller and the view that were created earlier by Guy in order to display that database information onto the screen. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that in your XAMPP control panel you have MySQL running, which I do. And now we're going to want to go ahead and go into command prompt and navigate to wherever you have your default installation of MySQL installed and also navigate to the bin folder. Um, for our tutorial it's of course in XAMPP MySQL bin. Now we're going to want to log into MySQL using MySQL and this is the default installation login which is MySQL username of root. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and create a database and we're going to call it customer. Let's make sure that we are using this database. Okay, and at this point we're going to want to go ahead and create our customer name table and we're going to give it an ID, which is the primary key, of, and then we're only going to add the first name here just to be simple and just to display it on the screen. Go ahead and push enter, and that should go ahead and create your customer database with a customer name table.